So now if you go into menu, you go down to exposure, you have shutter mode, speed or angle. And now you can control the shutter angle, which is just down here. This is what you're actually getting with the update. It allows you to choose the exposure time from either shutter speed or shutter angle. It allows you to add flags to clips after you've uh, shot video. You can improve the image quality using 3D LUT software. I'm not sure what that means, but I guess we'll see. And you can add the Rec. 709 Tone color mode to picture profile. This is how you can update your Sony FX3 so you can get shutter angle on it as well. Now there are two methods that you can use to update the FX3. You can use the Creators app, which is the method that I'm gonna be showing you here today, using your phone, using a tablet. As long as you have the Creators app on there, you can update it. The other method is to use a memory card. You'll download the firmware on your computer, PC or Mac, pop it onto here in the root of the card, and then update the camera that way. I'm not showing you that method today, but there is a detailed list of instructions on Sony's website, which I will link below for you. You're not able to update using a computer anymore. This update is only available for memory cards. Windows and Mac OS op uh, versions are not provided. We're gonna be using the Creators app, which is the simplest, easiest method, which I'd recommend you do as well. You'll see on my iPad here that my FX3 is, oh, is actually connected and we're gonna click on update there. Now the version of firmware that has shutter angle in it is version six. If you haven't updated your firmware previously for a while, then you might find you have to update to that first before you're able to go straight to six. Like me, I have to go to version five first. So we'll just skip through that. So that update is now done. Let's jump on and update to the latest version with the shutter angle. Tap on update there. So there we go, version six, ready to go, detailing everything you need to be aware of all of the changes that are gonna be on the camera, the new stuff once it's updated. Let's just tap next, agree and download. Download size is 771 megabytes in case you're wondering. Download that, let that do its thing. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make a coffee. Oh, look at that, it's going pretty quick. It's basically done. Now I'm gonna have the sound of the coffee machine in the video. I honestly didn't think it'd be that quick. I guess we'll wait for the Nespresso to finish. Donna says secure the cup. Cup is secured. All right, transfer files to camera. Okay, join the FX3. And there we go, you can now see on the FX3, receiving data. So the Creators app is transferring it and it gives you a real time indication of how it's transferring. We've really come a long way with the Sony app. This used to be so buggy to, to deal with and update and I just only relied on the USB-C plug into the computer. Yeah, you really have to hand it to Sony that they've done a lot to make this work as well as it does now. Should we do a reel while we're here? If you have an FX3 and you've been waiting for the shutter angle update, it's finally out. You can transfer it and update it via the Creators app. Mine is doing its thing right now. Let's take a look. Oh, there we go. We're gonna update it. So the file transfer is complete from here. The rest of the update process now takes place on the physical camera itself. So it makes you scroll through. When you get to the bottom, you either got to click on execute or cancel. We're gonna execute, obviously. And it it seems like it just freezes up. That's how it works. It turns the camera off, it updates it. Uh, it really is a lot faster than it used to be when it comes to firmware updates. And let's see how long it takes. So it's uh, 8.35. There's a couple of things I'm hoping have maybe snuck their way into this that we weren't told about. One of which is 1.5x anamorphic de-stretch. Now, I'm not holding out a lot of hope, but I'm gonna have a quick flick through the menus once it's updated to see if there's anything that stands out as being different from the original. Oh, I think we're done. Body update complete. There you go, can you see that? So it was 8.35 when we started, 8.39, took four minutes. So the update's been done, let's go into the menus and take a look. If we go down to exposure, there you go, shutter mode, and you can change it from speed to angle. And yeah, there you go. So now you're able to change the angle of the shutter. And if you want to stick by that 180 degree rule, that is how you can do it. I also think it is in the quick menu there as an option. Yes, yeah, so you can change it in there as well if you want to do it that method. I also wanted to see if you're able to uh, customize a button. So if we go customize keys, no, there's no way to change to shutter angle from a custom button, which is not a big deal. Unfortunately, no 1.5x D squeeze option in there, which I was hoping for. I wasn't expecting it, but I was hoping. So we go to picture profiles, go down to, I don't know, picture profile two, change the color mode to 
where is it? Uh, 709 Tone, which color comparable to Sony professional cameras with matrix off function. I honestly don't know what that is. I'll have to play around with it a little bit more and see what that does, I guess. Now this is something else I wanted to test, but you are able to control the shutter angle now within the monitor and control app as well there. So you have all your options for selecting the shutter angle that you want to use with your app, monitor and control app, if you use your phone or iPad or whatever. I also did just notice that within this, and you can see right here, tool, de-squeeze, you can actually de-squeeze 1.5x, which is strange. You can't do it in the camera, but you can do it in the monitor and control app. But that means I could technically use my phone as a monitor and de-squeeze properly. Hopefully that helps you out. A lot of people have been waiting for this for a while, and um, we finally have it. That's that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.